Welcome to the Level Up Report, where this week we'll be talking about the Epic Game Company in general, actually. So they've been making a lot of headlines and news, especially with their exclusives and comments about Steam in general. They've honestly started a war with, between all these different platforms on PC. Which was honestly needed a while ago, since Steam has had a monopoly in the PC digital market space for a long time. So it was nice to see competition. The problem I have with this is their approach to this, since they've been aggressively acquiring AAA games and indie games, and also crowdfunded games, without any regard to Steam actually screws over anyone that pre-orders or buys on Steam. So I want to hear what you thought about this whole thing so far, Kuma. Well, we never saw this coming. Epic, they only became big with uh, Fortnite, you know? And Fortnite was really lucky. It really lucky. It just happened. And uh, the only thing they have under them will be the Unreal Engine, which is massive for games like for games to be good looking to run well so when they put out this platform it's supposed to be a good thing like you said competition we want healthy competition that's the key word healthy with them like um taking all these games make it exclusive it becoming like uh consoles a console war but on pc but now it's a platform war uh-huh so it was a platform war, and it doesn't really do much because, like, do you really see the the difference in cost in the games? I don't really see it, honestly. All I see is that this platform has some games that Steam doesn't have, or it's just like um, time lock. It's just making it more complicated for the PC user because there's just so much things to launch. It just make it a little bit more messy because, like, if console, okay, you just one console, you use one system. For PC, you got open this, open that, I got sign this, agree to that. I got to remember all these stupid passwords, stupid usernames. Can I play with people on Steam? Can I play with people here? How does it all work out at the end of the day, right? It make it more restrictive to play with people. You know, it's each a really person might have a different yeah. server now. You know. Might have a different server. So, um, I don't know. I don't, so far, I don't really see much positive. And, uh, having an Epic Store, the only good thing is, the only good thing I see is for latecomers like myself to PC, they give out free games each week. That's the only good incentive I see so far in this. That's a pretty good incentive. But for me, who's had Steam for, over 10 years my library is a few hundred games it's wow. not going to do much for me because most of those games they're offering for free is or i already have it yeah i figure i figure you own it um well uh both well, epic just gonna be epic but you gotta keep in mind that steam took years to build up the credentials they weren't perfect in the beginning. They had their own issues. So I'm going to give Epic a chance to fix that and to become better. Because they have Steam to look at, to evaluate, you know. They will get better and they have to get better. And once they get better, I want to see that healthy competition come in place. They can't just keep snatching up exclusives because that's not going to win people over fully to, from Steam. It's, That's true. It's not going to happen. But I feel that push might make Valve start making their own games again. What do you think? Making their own games? I'm not sure about that. Oh. They've tried to do it with Artifact, and that didn't go well. Well, you got to keep in mind, they uh, Steam used to be a Valve product. Valve used to make games. You know, uh, Half-Life, uh, Portal. And they also made Team Fortress. They made those games. Many, many well, years ago. Yes, many years ago. But with this push, 
you never know. They might go back to making games. Then they will be exclusive as well. So maybe this competition will push for some greatness. I know people are looking forward to Half Life Three for like ten fucking years. That's a myth. <laughs> That'll never happen. They'll never live up oh. to expectations. It's a bad idea <laughs> at this point. But anyway, um, well, we'll see. Like, what? How this will grow? I'm hoping that it will be good. That's my hope for thinking. Because like everyone has to start from somewhere. And with Epic having so much money, they could make all these changes. They could make their basic platform better to compete with uh, Steam. As long as Steam doesn't match their, uh, I don't know, profit to, to, to give to the developers, to for them to um, work with them, then I'll see this uh, imbalanced competition. As long as that's the case. Right now, it's Steam sitting on their hands. Letting yeah, it all happen, which they don't. Yeah, not they do honestly anything. don't need to, because they have their own user base just speaking for them. They're still sitting on their not thirty percent anymore, is it? Their share for game developers. I think they adjusted it ever since. Oh, then. so they did. They did. It's still pretty unfair compared oh, okay. to Epic's like divide. For game developers, but but like I said, the empire can't be forever. There are always gonna be other things rising and fighting, cause I and mean, we just gotta see how it goes with time. We only hope for the best. Look at Nintendo; they came first, then PlayStation came out nowhere, and look at Microsoft; they came out nowhere too. Hell, look at Google. They want to pull out Stadia this fall. We're all going to have some interesting competition. Let's just see who survives because Sega dropped, right? See who survives and who adapts. Yep. Because if, they are just, if they're just stuck in their own ways they've been doing, it's not going to work. Yeah. They'll just at, be the end of day, at the end of the day, uh, it's just going to hurt everyone by having a monopoly, especially the, uh, the person that monopolized is a tyrant. So we'll see what happens. Well, they dictate what terms and what happens in the industry. Because they're the leader. Anyone that does anything different, well, they're not following the leader. That's where everyone goes to. As long as the leader is a good leader. They have to set the example. Which is not the easiest thing to do. In all honesty. But that's going to do up for our take on the Epic Game Company, who are making a storefront, which I don't think they're following their roadmap. So we'll see how much they improve it in the next year or so. But we'll see you guys on the next episode.